Hello there guys and welcome back. This is science also. Is there an exam nearby and you don't know how to study for it? If you are just cramming the information, then you are totally in the wrong path. Hang on with us until the end to find out the tips which you must follow to upgrade yourself from 0 to 100. In this video, I will give you 3 most important things you must do when there is less than 100 days remaining for exam. Tip number one, do not cram. Yeah, many of you just throw the books on the table and just cram every single bit of information. Believe me, if you cram, you will not cover even 50% of the information. Even if you crammed and remember the big chunk of information, I am pretty sure that you will forget it within two days. So what I want you to do is, take it easy, be simple. No need to scare yourself and get stressed. Take a deep breath and use a study technique which suits you. Highlight the notes, break your studying into sessions, ask questions from yourself and most importantly, you must do practice tests. The past papers must definitely be done before your exam because those are the testable core materials. And also this brings me to my next tip. Tip number two, study from testable core materials outwards. Imagine this square is your big syllabus. This square in the middle is the testable materials which might definitely come for your exam. A student who doesn't know how to study will just start studying from the top to bottom and when the time runs out, he haven't studied the essential things. But a student who knows how to study will start from this box inside and move outwards. Although the time runs out, he has already covered the testable core materials. So if you don't have an idea on what are the testable core materials, you must look at model papers, test papers, term papers, past papers and many practice questions given by your tutor. Tip number 3. Study one subject per day. You must definitely make a suitable timetable for yourself. For example, if you are an advanced level student and you are following science stream, your timetable must look like this. Okay, I have biology class on Tuesday, so I must study biology on that day. Next, I have chemistry class on Saturday, so I must study chemistry on that day. Finally, I have physics class on Sunday and I must study physics on that day. Now I find biology is more difficult than others so I will put it on Wednesday. Next I will put chemistry on Thursday. After that I will put physics on Monday and finally a free day on Friday. Yeah Friday is a free day. So on Friday you no need to study at all. Just refresh yourself and do anything you want. That single day which you keep yourself free will boost your entire week of studying. Why I said that you must study one subject per day is that if you study two or more subjects on one day, this is what will happen. So you study chemistry, then you remember that biology is more harder, then you skip chemistry and do biology. After a while you remember that there is physics homework and then you quit biology. Finally you have studied nothing, but just skip through book to book. That's why I said you must study one subject per day. So these are the three tips which I have to share with you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you are interested on more study tips, these videos are for you. See you guys soon in another interesting video. Until then, bye bye.